Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. The rain has finally stopped, and guess who joined us? Yes, that is the sun. We have not seen that for a while, but it is a good thing because we need our solar chargers to start charging. Um, they are starting to get very low. I've said before, they usually go about three days without sun before they go dead, and some of ours were getting very low. So hopefully those solar chargers are charging today. We've got a low of 19 tonight, so we need to go around and make sure all the pigs bedding is dry and ready. Um, with all the rain and the pigs coming out, eating and going back in, their bedding has gotten wet. So let's run around, check those out, and make sure that they have dry bedding today for those cold temperatures tonight. All right, I know these guys need it for sure. Hey, y'all gonna get out of here so uh, we can get some new hay in there? All you got's wet. Come on, come on. All right, as they pile out of here today, obviously thankful for that sunshine. What a beautiful day, it is cold. But there is sun, and that makes a whole bunch of difference. Says these little guys, actually girls mostly, file out of here. We're going to get this cleaned up and get them some fresh hay down so they can enjoy, enjoy a warm house together. It's obviously warm when there's 14 little pigs in there together. They're getting some drinks. We're going to put this down and get their hay fresh for them. Oh yeah, have you ever had a project? you needed to get done and you had a ton of little kids running around getting in your way well I used to teach kindergarten so I know what that's like but here they are this is why we use hay for bedding you could you saw in there there was hardly any left well that's because these guys eat what they want and bed down with the rest there wasn't much left we just spread this out oh that's heavy throughout the field we'll go in here you guys got room for one more one of these little hogs arguing excuse me excuse me oh, i'm coming in excuse me molly oh there's molly here's willow bean right in the doorway she won't let me in but you can see they're already if i can hold this camera still and they're already just eating that's Jesse. A couple we don't have named, but this is much better. It is warm in here. And then you throw all 14 pigs in here. It sure does make a world of difference. So they're gonna be fine. They got a dry floor. Dry floor, they're out of the breeze and they are good. You find stuff good in there, Molly? You finding some goodies? huh yeah Whew, it is a lot warmer in here so these are perfect for this cold weather so this one is done let me crawl out of here Ugh. thank you ladies for sharing they will be good we'll check on it just in case they start to eat a whole bunch of it as you can see <laughs> this extra pile out here the ladies are going to town on it already so not worried about these at all tonight so let's move on to our next pens just to check and see how they're doing Thank <laughs> you. 
right. It is the adult mamas back here. You guys already ate. I don't want to hear it. Hey, Large Marge. All right. I came out this morning and all of them were in one and three pigs were in the other. And these are pretty much dry. I did want to add a little hay. So that's what we're going to do here. They need a little up there, but theirs is nice and dry still. Same with this one. They are good here. So we're just going to add a little. Hey, Chloe, that's my leg. That's not food. That's my leg. That's my leg. So we're going to put this down. Hey, Jelly Bean. Hey, Jelly. How are you doing? How? Just about took my eye out with the stick. Ouch. So anyway. These girls are good. They're in, out here enjoying the sun. We'll put this down, add a little bit of hay to that one pig loo, and we'll be off to check out the boys. All right, they're already heading in to check it out. Makes us feel better knowing that they are warm and dry. Chloe's in there enjoying it. So we have moved the bowls. If you guys remember, we're feeding them here. That's why this area is so wet. We moved the bowls up around here and they are nice and dry where they're getting fed. So girls are good out here enjoying a little bit of sunshine today. And tonight they will be nice and warm. So let's head back and check out the boar pen. And I think that's the last one we'll have to check, except cow. We gotta make sure cow's got enough. So let's go check the boys. Then we'll go check Cal. All right, the one good thing about it being cold is uh, most of the mud has got hard. Not so much back here with the boys, but they've got plenty, plenty of uh, not pure mud spots. So they're all in their house. Let's check out how it looks. It looks pretty wet to me. So we're going to be filling this one up. Yeah, they definitely need some hay. Come on, y'all. Come on. The one thing I do not like doing is getting in here with the boys in here because I do not want to be in there with five almost full grown boars. So not that I'm worried they do anything to me, but I just don't like the feeling of uh, being in a pig loo with large pigs with tusks so we're gonna get that cleaned out get them some new bedding they'll be all set for tonight we don't like to move them when it's totally wet so like i said there's a lot of dry most of that mud is right up here at the front where they sit and wait for us to come in so once it uh we got rain out of the forecast for a couple days we'll be moving them down to a fresh spot which they'll break up and get all muddy again but at least it's a fresh spot with no poop on it. So all the boys are out now. I'm gonna get that wet cleaned out and put some dry hay down for them. Sometimes it's easier just to roll the stuff out and then scrape it out. So we've got that clean now. If these fat hogs will give us some room, I'll start filling that with hay. They might have to spread that themselves. Okay. 
Well, I may have to come back later and spread the rest of that out. It is nice to see them actually enjoying it. But uh, like I said, I'm not going into a pig blue with five boars. I'd probably be fine, but I can come back later tonight once they're feeding and eating. How you doing, bud? Oh, Henry, get your butt out of the way. And I can spread that out a little bit better for them. But for right now, at least I know it's dry. They'll have a nice warm spot to get to. And five big old hogs. They got a lot of body heat. They will be fine. And they are already enjoying it. There's the brothers, Shiloh and Ryder. And Walter. All right. We've got one more. I forgot. We've got the little babies that we just took out of the farrowing barn. And uh, they started pooping in their house again. So I got to clean that and then put new hay down. So let's head back up to the barn and check them out. All right, last stop for the morning. I wish it was for the day. I'm oh, just kidding. Love to be out here doing this. And it's these little piggers. Look at you. You look like you got white eyeliner on. Crazy old fur around your face. How you doing, Belty? There's old uh, Gordon and a couple others. Hey, 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 hey. But anyway, one thing we get asked a lot is if our animals use the bathroom in the house and when it's cold like this yes they do the thing we found is when they have more room than they need that's when they had to go they had tend to go over and use the bathroom where they're sleeping you can see these turds these pigs here have used the bathroom over there they sleep over here so we're gonna get this cleaned out put some hay down and everybody will be good for this little bit of cold we got coming in. So let's get started. All right, got those chores done today. Now we can sleep easy. Look at those white under eyes. <laughs> We can sleep easy. All our pigs can sleep easy. Our animal, other animals are good. I just clean this out. We'll put some DE down. I just added extra bedding. <coughs> Excuse me. Added extra bedding here. We'll let all this dry out before we put anything else there. But these pigs are doing good. I feel another sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, everybody's good it's always easier for us to sleep knowing that our animals are warm and comfortable at night and they have dry warm places to get to so we'll still take care of cal he does not come in the house with us he sleeps out in the farrowing barn he's got his own stall there i showed on a previous video we're gonna add some more hay for him let's go say hi to him really quick cal hey hey bud do you want to say hi to everybody you got no clue what I'm talking about, do you? Cal, come here, say hi. Can you sit? Hey, Psst. say hi and bye, because we got to go. Anyway, guys, we appreciate you following along today. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Don't forget to make the change. Good boy. We'll see you guys on the next video. Good boy, good boy.